I'm standing outside the city of Boston's animal shelter where we just conducted a tour. The first thing I, I, I did was took a walk. I, I, I looked, I talked to staff, I looked at the, the, the animals and, and I felt a level of despair. The conditions they weren't like, I've seen some horrific conditions where they weren't like, oh my, but it, it, there was like a, a feeling of, 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 of hopelessness. The shelter has undergone a management overhaul after the Animal Rescue League found that the shelter was in crisis and there were several animals that oh, were in need of uh, medical care. About 35 animals have been removed from the shelter. What the Rescue League found was that the shelter was understaffed and did not have enough resources and was had too many dogs and cats for the number of staff they had. The city immediately moved to uh, remove the longtime acting director of animal control and has replaced him with an interim director who just gave us a tour. There has been a lot of focus on both you know cleanliness and focus on kind of trying to rebolster the staff, both the spirits in the staff and the numbers of the staff. We're going to change some things. We're going to change some shifts. Dog offices are going to become more involved in, in animal care, walks, love, playtime. So what we're working on is that we get the people back motivated to enjoy their jobs and to give that love and attention back to the animals. I am not an expert and I'm not a vet and have spent very little time in shelters. Uh, the shelter smelled clean. There was definitely a smell of bleach in the air. The dogs and cats, you know, crates and cages all appeared to be clean. Uh, we didn't see any feces or anything like that. And like I said, there was definitely a, a predominant smell of, of, of bleach wafting in the air. So it, the facility to the untrained eye certainly seemed to be clean. For the Boston Globe, I'm Andrew Ryan.